What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Is your body ready? Because it looks like a brand new booster set just got revealed and we've got the press release for this new said booster set. It's called Toon Chaos and everybody's favorite expensive as hell meta draw two card. Looks like it's getting a, a reprint which desperately is needed at this point. Of course I'm talking about Pot of Extravagance. A lot of people seem to be very disappointed that as of right now it appears pot of extravagance will not be in dual overload but don't worry looks like konami is giving us the hookup regardless and they're going to be putting it in this booster set so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about this set and we're gonna run down uh the press release and see what toon chaos is all about because this is another one of those booster sets konami's just kind of dropping out of thin air we don't really know anything about other than the information in the press release and we're just going to go ahead and break down as much as possible now interesting enough it looks like this product is going to be wow hold on it's just is this release date June 18th? Wow, that's actually my birthday. So, <laughs> you guys, if you want to get Cap G a birthday present, you know, June 18th, that is my birthday. So, we know what Cap G wants already and we know how to give it to him. Anyways, let's go ahead and read this breakdown. It says, inspired by the first animated series, Duelist Kingdom Storyline, uh, du uh, excuse me, Toon Chaos introduces brand new world premiere cards for the themes played by Yugi and Pegasus during their final round. So, this means that we're getting TCG exclusive cards in this set. And this is interesting because I thought it was pretty shocking that we were getting, or that we're getting TCG exclusive cards in Dual Overload. Like, I thought that set was just going to be a bunch of reprints, and it was going to be a lot of uh, imported cards and Link monsters that we don't have in the TCG. And then in Jerome's video, he was like, surprise, we also got some TCG exclusives like Trap Trick Monsters and Mayakashi support, etc., etc. So, pretty much confirmation right here, guys. We are going to be getting TCG exclusives in this set. It says the very first Chaos Monsters were used by Yugi in his duels against Mai and Pegasus. Uh, it says, but the brand new, or excuse me, but the new Toon Blackluster Soldier has a lot more in common with the upgraded Envoy of Beginning from Invasion of Chaos. Okay. Complete with the ability to banish your opponent's monsters, in addition to uh, this towering titan of Toonosity. That's not a word, right? Toonosity. <laughs> Anyways, it continues on to say, Toon Chaos has more new cards for your Toon decks to vastly increase their speed and stability. Okay, so it looks like it's not just going to be this new Toon Blackluster Soldier, which, um, you know, I've been wanting for a while for Toons kind of to get an upgrade. I thought that it was at least on the table in Rise of the Duelist for Toons to potentially get kind of like a refresher just because you know that Toons are based on an insanely popular character. Obviously, Maximilian, uh, Maximilian Pegasus, because of Duel Links, is still a character who holds a certain amount of weight. You can still, in my opinion, put him in uh, a Legendary Duelist. You can put him in like a core booster set as like, um, you know, a popular Yu-Gi-Oh! villain from the DM era. And I think that his archetype tunes still have, I mean, you can see with some of their cards still being quite expensive. Like there still is a market with them, not just with casuals or collectors. If Konami ever made tunes like a meta deck, if they ever got to meta level, I think a lot of people would be happy. And I feel like it would actually be super duper interesting because, you know, they are a car, they are a, uh, a series or they are a theme from like Ma uh, Magic Ruler. They're, they're a super old theme in the game. It says, let's see, having trouble uh, tuning in, uh, having trouble tuning in to the tunes you were looking for. It says, check out new spell cards in Tune Chaos that let you channel surf until you found the tune, until you find the tunes you want right out of your deck. Okay, so maybe they're alluding to a certain tune card that's just going to like summon a tune monster straight from your deck. Uh, I mean, I, I guess that's the only way that I could interpret it because tunes already have tune uh, table of contents, which is just kind of like a generic rota for all the monsters. 
monster. So a way of special summoning any Toon monster from your deck. That would be kind of nice, especially if it, um, you know, could summon some of the high level monsters. I would always like to be able to use a blue eyes Toon, um, a blue eyes Toon white dragon. That would be something that's really dope. But a lot of the high level Toon monsters is just never worth running them because you know you got a tribute for those things. It says um, for the ever popular chaos theme. Uh, Toon Chaos also introduces new Chaos versions of older monsters like the Chaos Creator that can simultaneously special summon a banished monster and return other banished monsters to the deck. Toon Chaos has three Chaos monsters, uh, excuse me, three new Chaos monsters for decks full of light and dark monsters, including a boss monster that fits perfectly into Dream, into the Dream Mirror strategy from Rise rampage and chaos impact uh plus new cards to help you find those monsters and summon them let the chaos commence okay so konami still apparently is not done with the uh dream mirror archetype which <laughs> i'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that archetype because it feels like almost no one really cares about dream mirrors but looks like we're going to be getting quite a few of them including a tune monster that can summon other tunes from the banished pile and even recur some of your resources. That makes sense. If Konami is going to take tunes in a in a kind of an interesting and weird chaos, uh, I guess, kind of uh, direction where you're going to be banishing a lot of your tune monsters, then it definitely makes sense for you to be able to uh, recur some of those resources. Plus, Tune Kingdom uh, also banishes cards, so I wonder if this new tune uh, chaos creator is going to be able to just put down or put cards that are face down face up like i wonder if it's going to be any cards that are banished in your possession you can just like put them back in your deck but this definitely seems like a very interesting way of taking tunes and uh, man i really do hope that they have ways of summoning high level monsters that would be really nice Anyways, let's continue. It says, in addition, you can prepare for the new Rise of the Duelist booster set with a pair of fiery new noble knights um, and get ready for the biggest competitions of the summer with another chance to pick up Pot of Extravagance. There you have it. Um, I mean, we're getting a couple of new noble knights, which like i i don't i just i'm not gonna i'm not even going to act like i care about noble knights because i don't if you're a noble knight fan out there more power to you, you are getting more noble knight cards but this is what a lot of people are going to go and do backflips over pot of extravagance right here confirmed to be in the set and that's just absolutely magnificent pot of extravagance as i've said before i think it's the best spell in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. i think that you can play it in a multitude of decks and when people started playing it in spiral of all decks earlier this format you knew that the card had crossed over to territory where it's like damn dude where can you not fit this card in can you not fit it because it used to be for a long time used to be for a long time people would say that you couldn't play pot of extravagance in combo decks and then the spiral players are like nope we'll just run the cards that we need to at three and uh then we'll still be able to like combo off and we'll be able to get our draw twos because you know it's such a powerful card and as of right now guys pot of extravagance is basically a hundred dollar card so this is going to be a product that we have our hands on before the NAWCQ, before the european championship before you know the latin american championship so this is going to be a really big deal we could see pot of extravagance being a 90 dollar card or going from a 90 dollar card maybe to like a 50 dollar card some of you guys might be like still cap 50 bucks but hey you're cutting the price of the card basically in half i don't think you can complain about that konami didn't put it in uh you know dual overload so they're kind of making up for it and i look this is just my opinion I never thought that it made sense to put it in dual overload because Pot of Extravagance is such a heavyweight. I feel like it's going to be one of those things Konami advertises off jump. It's going to be one of the first things that they talk about whenever they decide to reprint it because they know that it's going to sell an entire set. It didn't, like, dual overload didn't need any more, like, uh, it didn't need any cards to sell it. They already had Needle Fiber. They already had all of these, like, ridiculous Link monsters in there. They threw, they threw us a bone 
going with extravagance. We had the Madoche stuff, or excuse me, it went permanence. They uh, gave us the Madoche stuff. Like, it already had so much crazy stuff in there. They, it didn't really seem like it needed another go sell the set card. But uh, this set is unproven, so Konami's putting extravagance in there. If nothing else, players will buy this set just to pick up the extravagance. Anyways... It also gives us a breakdown. Um, it looks like Extravagance will not be coming in Secret Rare because there are not going to be any Secret Rares in this set. But we are getting rares! So for... <laughs> For everybody out there who uh, was mad about rares going away, we're at least going to be getting them in this set. <laughs> so there's that. Dude, what if they were print pot of extravagance in a rare? I will I will boycott this set. No, I'm sure I'm sure it's going to be an, an ultra rare in this set. I think that makes the most sense. Looks like we're going to be getting, getting uh, 10 ultra rares, uh, 15 super rares, uh, 35 rares, and then, um, okay, so that looks like that's a full breakdown, and these are going to be seven cards per pack, so, uh, very interesting, guys. What do you guys think of this set? I mean, so far, I'm excited. We're getting a $90 card reprinted. I think tunes are pretty cool, and, um, hopefully, this would mean that we're going to be getting a bunch of tune cards reprinted as well. Some of those cards, like Tune Kingdom, would definitely be kind of nice if we got reprints of those, and... I would definitely love to see competitive tunes, man. I would love nothing more than to be able to play, um, you know, some of those old school tunes from um, like uh, Magic Ruler and some of the other old school tunes, but actually be able to use them in, in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! So we'll see exactly where Konami is going with this, but um, I think this set's going to sell just based on the extravagance reprint and nothing else. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on the notification bell for daily videos.